It's getting dark. Autumn is coming to Sweden, even if this September days is bright and looks like summer, it's getting darker and darker in the evenings. And then it's important to know how the lights are working on the car. My Nissan Leaf is equipped with LED lights, so it will be as efficient as possible, even in this aspect. Also, the LED lights make the maintenance level very low, since... LED lamps don't fail so much like a normal lamp in a traditional car. The auto light mood makes no need to think so much about what external light you're using. The car has a sensor that detects if it's dark or light outside and making the right choice of lightning configuration depending on the situation. When it's light outside, the car is using the low-mounted daytime running lights in the front and the back lights are completely turned off, unless you don't use the braking paddle. But when the star starts to twinkle on the sky, the car automatically turns on the low beam on the car. And when you drive in the dark, you can use the high beam like in any normal car. It's actually no difference driving an electric car. The lights is working like you can expect from a modern car today. And of course the car's red light in the back has been turned on by the sensor feeling that now it's dark. But there is times when the auto sensor function is not working properly. Especially when you have a bad weather situation, heavy rain or snow during daytime. The backlights is not automatically turned on. Therefore in situation like this, you should remember to turn on the low beam manually, so the red lights in the back will be turned on. This sensor is nothing unique just because this is an electric car. But what is unique is that you have to charge the car even during night time and in darkness. And in the newer models of the Nissan Leaf there is a small feature that helps you charge the car when it's dark. A lamp is fitted inside so you will see much easier how to put in the charging cable. But the exterior lights in all due respect, it's not the lights itself that is controversial in this car. It's rather the headlights shape of the lamp cap that is paying attention to people seeing the car for the first time. But the purpose of the shape has to do with the whole concept of the car being as efficient as possible. The shape of the lamp cone is forcing the wind while driving in higher speed away from the car so the mirrors will not have so much wind resistance. Speaking about shapes, the back of the car seems to have a shape that is formed in such a way that while driving on a dirt road 
it seems to gather much more dirt than on previous cars that I owned. I don't know if this is really correct, but this is just a feeling that I get. And finally... While driving like this in the dark, there is one strange thing. There is a small little funny light here in the ceiling that is just making no sense at all. It is not making it any lighter here, and it's just disturbing in general when you're driving in the dark. Maybe I missed some function of this light. Maybe you can help right in the comments below to tell me what I should use this lamp for. On the next episode of My Nissan Electric, we will travel to Atlanta, Georgia and see why they have so many electric cars on their roads. But still, the majority of cars is fossil fuel.